What's up everyone, Dave here at the Action Box with another machine build video. Today we're putting together a 5 by 10 foot CNC router, so let's get right into it. As always, we begin by creating the CAD designs of the machine we're trying to build, and then we go by the material we need to actually make it. We start off with some raw metal flat bar and process away on our DIY CNC mill. All parts are designed to only require drilled holes, so you can get away with building this entire machine using just a hand drill. Throw a coat of paint on all the parts to make them look nicer, and then repeat for all the pieces. With all of the custom pieces made, we gathered the rest of the parts, which we simply purchased online, and our kit was finally ready to be assembled. This kit makes for great one-on-one -on -one bonding time, and only takes two days to complete. It also sparks some very creative and fun ideas. Anyways, it was a great time. Moving on, we had more great bonding time while assembling the Z-axis. It turned out perfectly. Now we turned our focus to building the Y-axis as well as mounting the Z-axis itself. With the frame of the CNC router complete, we were able to go and buy the sacrificial pieces used to complete the build. Placing these wooden planks on took just about 3 seconds. And there you have it. Now we want to level these with the machine spindle to make a flat table, but we can't do that unless we get the electronics running. We started off with this electrical cabinet we found in the junkyard, and then placed all our electronics inside it. Finally, we made all the appropriate connections, and the machine was ready to run. And there you have it, our finished DIY CNC router. We were able to insert our 4x8 melamine sheet and cut out the molds that we used in our CNC milling machine video. Feel free to check out that video by clicking on the link in the description below. Thank you again for watching, and happy building folks!